Hello everyone and welcome to the third lecture of the series for VLSI design. In this lecture we will be discussing the basics of any MOSFET device. Uh, here I have drawn the structure for an NMOS device. So uh, what is the full form of a MOSFET? MOSFET is basically your metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor. First of all let us try to understand the significance of this name. Now, as you can see in the structure, this is the P-type substrate. P-type material means there will be a majority of holes in this particular uh, substrate. And here I have done the doping of N plus material that is a heavily doped N-type material. N-type material has a majority of electrons as the carriers. Now, the name suggests M is metal oxide and semiconductor. Now, where is this MOS found in this structure? Let's see. This gate, this is this part is the metal part, which is mostly made up of aluminium. This is our silicon dioxide, so it is an oxide layer. And this part is your P-type substrate, which is basically silicon. So this is your semiconductor material. So this particular part forms the MOS structure in any MOSFET. So metal oxide semiconductor, the significance of the name is clear from here. Now, what is field effect transistor? The conduction of current in this device takes place due to the effect of an electric field. Now, how the electric field is uh, established in this particular structure? When I apply a potential difference between the drain and the source terminal, then there is a potential difference between these two parts. And this establishes an electric field in this circuit due to which a current is flowing in the circuit. So, the basic working of a MOSFET is based upon the electric field effect, hence the name MOSFET. So, with this, we will proceed the, with the basic working of the uh, NMOS device. Now, I, uh, we can have three modes of operation of any NMOS device as I have written on the right part of the board. The first one is the accumulation, second is depletion and third is inversion. Let's try to understand these three parts of the uh, operation of MOSFET. Now, the first part is accumulation. Now, suppose I apply a negative voltage on the gate terminal. A negative voltage is applied here. So, when I apply a negative voltage, negative charge is going to attract the positive carriers. So, basically, this is a P-type substrate. So, what will be attracted here? Holes will be attracted here. So, this particular part is rich in holes when the gate terminal is applied with a negative voltage. Now, the holes are incapable of providing a conduction link between these two N plus uh, source and drain terminals. So, the device is said to be in accumulation because holes are accumulating and accumulating as the negative gate voltage is increased. There is no conduction in this mode. Let's come on to the second uh, mode of operation that is the depletion region. Now, what happens in the depletion region? If I apply a small positive voltage on the gate terminal, a small positive voltage on the gate terminal will attract electrons. Now, where will these electrons come from? We know P-type substrate will have electrons as the minority charge carriers. So, a few electrons will be attracted here and since this uh, this, this part of the substrate was already having some holes. Some holes were already present. And now a few electrons have also come. So both the holes and electrons recombine. And you know when the holes and electrons recombine, the region that is formed is a depletion region. A depletion region is a region which is devoid of any charge carriers. Hence again in the depletion mode, no conduction will take place in the MOS device. Now let's take the third case that is when I apply a very large positive voltage on the gate terminal. When a large positive gate voltage is applied what happens more and more electrons are drawn in from the p-type substrate and 
after depletion we have extra electrons also to help in the conduction process so the source and drain get a path for conduction through these electrons and hence this conduction path is established and a drain current is established in the mos device so this is your last mode that is the inversion mode thank you